Better than plastic? Yes, it is. So durables versus disposable. Reverse logistics is sending stuff back through the supply chain. So if, if your stuff, let's say you have a really big salon, and your stuff comes on a pallet, you might actually send that pallet back so that they can send it to you again. It's a closed loop. It's called reverse logistics. Um, when you buy a new washer and dryer, do they come and pick up the old ones? That's reverse logistics. And then what do they do with the old ones? They use them, don't they? They recondition them. They use parts and components. Does that save them money or are they just be really nice citizens? It saves them money. A lot of this stuff is already happening. Cause related marketing. It's when a for profit gets together with a non profit for mutual benefit. If you understand who your customers are, the view, um, corporate commitment. If you want the competitive advantage and you want it to be sustainable, if you want to avoid the backlash, you, want, you don't want to be accused of greenwashing, then you need to look at everything. You don't need to do everything right away, and you need to be transparent. It needs to be on your website. Set measurable objectives. An objective is no good unless it's measurable. A goal is no good unless it's measurable. You can't have a goal. We're going to be better at customer service this year. How are you going to measure that? You can't. So you have to, all these goals, all these objectives have to be measurable. Natural organic suppliers, you have the power to demand products that work. And these natural products do work. Ten years ago, they didn't so much. I'll give you an example of why I'm right. Colgate bought tons of Maine. Clorox bought Burt's Bees. Enough said. Have you seen the Greenworks commercials, Clorox Greenworks? The 100% natural cleaning products? What's their message on those commercials? Works just as good as the other crap you're using. Right? Do we want to say it works better? No. But isn't there a perception that the green stuff doesn't work? The natural stuff doesn't work? Hasn't that been a big barrier in your business? You want performance, immediate performance too, not this long-term wrinkle reduction stuff that might work or might not for you know four months. They come in and they want to look good, right? When they come out, it's immediate. It's immediate gratification. It's harder to be sustainable. It's harder to be natural and organic when you've got that barrier, right? So always consider that. You guys have some constraints there. Beware of the greenwashing. Look for the certification for organic and make sure you look at the natural product. Look at some of these ingredients. If it reads like something you would want to eat, it's probably more natural than not. If it doesn't, it's probably pretty scary. If it has parabens in it, it's bad. Parabens are bad, bad, bad. They work very well as preservatives. They cause cancer. It's, I've seen a dozen studies on it right now. And, well, I wouldn't say cause, it's a high correlation. So parabens are being phased out of anything that's even remotely considered natural or organic. So just look for that sort of stuff. And consumers know what parabens are. And they're starting to, to not want that sort of stuff. Non-toxic, biodegradable inputs. Recycle what you can't reuse. And reuse what you can. Don't put anything in the trash. Recycled components. Use recycled building materials when you remodel. Recycled packaging. Use fewer raw material inputs. We call that downsizing. That's what Walmart's doing. Downsizing the packaging. Minimize waste in every way. Conserve energy. Offset what you do use with renewable energy credits. Minimize your waste. Minimize harmful emissions. Enact fair labor policies. Engage in some sort of cause that your consumers care, care about. Make it local if you're a local business. Make it national if you're national. Make it international if you're international. Audits. You know what an audit is? You got to do it. That's where we start. Green marketing starts with an audit. We audit what you do first before we get involved in making your communications materials and your website and your pretty brochures and all that kind of stuff. We want to make sure you're doing it. I don't want to be accused of greenwashing either. We won't work with you unless you're doing it right. We turn people down all the time. Re reporting, continuous process improvement. Weave everything that you do into your marketing communications. You now want to be positioned as a more environmentally responsible, more sustainable enterprise. And I thank you for your attention.